numero quattro, and we got ourselves a whole lot of drama mixed in with a little bit of bullshit this episode. Quite literally. Yeah, man, quite literally. Now, this weekend, if you didn't know, a bunch of women, millions of women, <laughs> got out into the street and protested the inauguration of Donald Trump. I thought something similar was going to happen to protest the final rose going to Corinne. Dude, it sure looked like it. Those ladies were not happy mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. They drew a target on her back. Anyways, we got a big old episode to dive into. And in case you didn't know, we are two bros and some brick. Every week we break down the who's, what's, if, ands, or buts of batch and batch dash. And uh, let's just go ahead and dive on in. All right, so first thing after the rose ceremony, the next morning. Mm -hmm. Casual Chris Harrison comes in. <laughs> Probably just got done finishing a mimosa. <laughs> Casual dude, man. <laughs> Clad in gingham. That's right. Comes in and lets the ladies know that they are on a one-way trip to Waukesha, Wisconsin. Yeah. One, well, are we 100% sure that that's how you pronounce that? Because, I mean, we got a lot of pronunciation <laughs> Nazis on our channel as we learned from the Hoaxy Arkansas debacle we had in our previous series. <laughs> Hoaxy Gate, as we call yeah, it. Yeah, Hoaxy Gate, that's um, right. I am sure, and that's only because J.J. Watt talks about how he's just a kid from Waukesha <laughs> a thousand times okay. a day. So All right. that's the only reason I'm sure, but All yeah. Right. Okay. So the ladies land in Waukesha, uh -huh. and as you can imagine, there's probably a million things on their mind. <laughs> like, let's go to where J.J. Watt went to high school, right. and uh, let's find out where Nick's mom gets her hair cut. <laughs> you know, let's go oh, visit God. all the like, ground zero, the most important places of this town. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, Sun is on The Bachelor. It's time to ditch the Kate plus eight allegiance <laughs> and get rid of that Kate Gosselin haircut. I mean, she's got more kids than her, though. Maybe it's a kid thing. Like, if you have over eight kids, you gotta get that yeah, cut. I don't know. I, that... Give me the eight plus. That's what she cousin. <laughs> The a plus, yeah, maybe so, man. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. So they in Waukesha, and they end up at this uh, bakery with the least enthusiastic baker of all time. I mean, she did not crack a smile a single minute they were in there. No, I mean, I think if you if she got captured by ISIS, yeah, and had to make a hostage video, I think there'd be more enthusiasm in that than there yeah. was in this video with Danielle and Nick. I mean, I guess to be fair, if you're forced to make cookies <laughs> called the knickerdoodle. Like, you're probably not going to be smiling too much, right? I mean, I don't know. I have a theory. What? The Bachelor producers went in there, gave her a wad of cash. They're like, you're going to help produce a segment <laughs> for us. And she was like, hell no. Yeah. And maybe she's an ex of Nick. Yeah. And then they go, okay, fine. We're going to flood your Yelp <laughs> with the most insane, <laughs> aggressive reviews you've ever gotten in your life. Oh, and she was God. forced to do it basically at gunpoint. I don't know. Anyways, uh, the date consists of Nick and Danielle creating these cookies where they like pretend to like kiss. They like mush their faces together, yeah. Billy Madison in the bath style with Dude, the shampoo and conditioner. It was it was no bueno, man. <laughs> it was it was quite dull, and it kind of mirrored, uh, honestly, the person on the date yeah. in Danielle, and that was kind of a surprise. It was a letdown for us, because yeah. we liked her appeal, we yeah. liked her style, we liked yeah. her look, but mm -hmm. there's something missing in the dynamic department, I think, about Danielle. I agree 100%. Um, I do think that she was definitely somewhat uncomfortable yeah. in the environment. I mean, I definitely got that vibe. You mean Nick taking her to the hill that was adjacent to his first kiss ever <laughs> might have created a bit of an uncomfortable environment? Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe so. Um, That's awesome. But uh, I, I definitely got that she was a little bit uncomfortable. But beyond that, like, she didn't really contribute a whole no. lot to... She played job interviewee a yeah, lot. Yeah, Where she was giving kind of these canned answers and nothing felt like engaging about her yeah absolutely so uh i don't know that was definitely a surprise but um well i, I mean i still think that she's going to be sticking around for a yeah, while yeah almost an r bad but yeah. i think she's going to be around for a too while too early so to tell too early to call too early to call <laughs> that's like, right it's like michigan for yeah. all <laughs> for all of november 8th it's that's right. too early to call moving on to the aforementioned bullshit that we were talking about earlier uh we got ourselves a shitty group date dude <laughs> dude i thought there was no way that the Bachelor producers could possibly top the level of shittiness in the date of, in Ben season when they went swimming with the oh, pigs. But Jesus quite literally, dude. this year, they went above and beyond We've done with it, man. the shit. Yeah, we have done it. We have topped it. Uh, and speaking of which, with this date and that stupid cookie date that we just talked about, like, did they just blow their entire date budget on that... Zero gravity date last week? I mean, dude, they put absolutely zero effort into God. two dates back to back. I know, seriously. Uh, anyways, uh, we got a bunch of girls shoveling shit. Uh, it's about as much fun as it sounds, I would imagine. Corinne, 
was having a lot of fun. So much fun <laughs> yeah. that she had to take a break for a second. She had to bail, man. She had her uh, circulation in her hands were all off. When I'm having so too much. much fun, my circulation, that's the first thing I do. <laughs> Next thing, I throw in a panic attack somewhere. Yeah. Uh, now, obviously, safe to say, her excuses weren't exactly A+. plus. Right. That's weren't for sure. Weren't exactly worth investing any time or money into. Yes, correct. Now... Being the ultimate pitchman that we are, <laughs> and loving ABC Synergy, yes. we're going to present a new segment called the Shark Tank Pitch of the Week. And what each of us are going to do, we're going to trade off pitching better excuses that Corinne could have used in getting out of this shitty, shitty date this week. All right, Corinne, listen up. For a couple grand and a shout out on the Two Bros and Some Brick YouTube page, which... That's worth a, at least a couple grand alone, right? I, I think mean, so. The way that our ad rates are going right now. <laughs> uh, anyway, couple grand and a shout out. Here's how you get out of this situation, all right? First off, you did a little too much by explaining the whole circulation thing. You know mm. what you gotta do? Less is more, my friend. All right? You tell them. You say, hey, I'm gonna leave and go find ourselves some nice shovels that we can use that are going to be a little bit better than the ones that we already have, mm. leave and get the hell <laughs> out of that vicinity. Just leave. Go as far away you can go as humanly possible and just hope that the girls forget about you because they probably will. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot because yeah. it shows that you want to contribute to yeah. the date. That's right. But you just want a little bit... You want nicer equipment. Yes. And can you blame her? Exactly. Yeah, and you come back at some point and say, man, I was looking all over and I couldn't find any. I swear what do you to know? God, I thought I saw one earlier when we were passing your hometown. What do you know? Down. What do you know? Anyways, what do you got, man? All right. So here, here are my conditions. I yeah. want 10 grand in my PayPal account tomorrow. All right. And... 24 hours with your nanny Raquel. <laughs> I want you to lend her for me 24 hours. This is for a 10% stake in this idea. Nice, by the way. nice. I still get to use it 90% of the time. Nice. You're gonna say you're gonna go off to the to the rock formation like you did last time. Mm -hmm. You're gonna put your hand in your head, and you're gonna start crying. And eventually, Nick's gonna come over to you and ask, "Oh, Corinne, what's wrong?" Now you're starting to be painted as a villain, a one-dimensional freak who wants who's there for the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You start going into this sob story about how your first boyfriend died because he slipped in cow manure once and then oh. drowned. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Automatically buys you two more week on, weeks on The Bachelor. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the target's off your back as the villain. Wow, man. <laughs> Pretty good Dude, idea, that's right? that's great. You know what? I want to go in on this <laughs> date with you. This Corinne. idea, yeah. Corinne, let us know. Hit us up if you're yeah. in. All right, so for the final date of the episode, we have a solo date between Nick and Raven. Now, Raven gets thrown into the deep end immediately. Oh, yeah, With dude. a family soccer game. Now, yeah. oddly, that wasn't the highlight of the date. No. That, no. normally, that would be something we would talk about, <laughs> to, you know, ad nauseum. Yeah. But, then he took her to Skate World. <laughs> dude. Yeah, Skate Land. But yeah, dude. Skate Land. <laughs> Do you think there's Skate Lands and Skate Worlds? Like there are Disneyland and <laughs> Disney World? I don't know, man. That's a that's a good thing we should research. It if, seems like a very successful enterprise, honestly. Dude, anyways, Skate Land, dope as fuck, no, my man. man. I think, I honestly, I'm, I'm now wrestling with the fact that I don't know which was the cooler date, the Zero Gs or the <laughs> Skate Land. Yeah, man, I don't know. He strapped some wheels to your feet and all of a sudden... <laughs> Uh, I think we know, got good. I was gonna say I think we know what Nick liked better. I mean, he was hot dogging like a maniac. Oh yeah, go going quite literally skating circles around the girls. I mean, flashing his like ATL moves. Yeah, I guess. man. Well, they ended up having the time of their life at Skateland, which I mean, can't blame them. Jeez. Uh, so they took the skates on over to uh, Museum of uh, Roller Skating. I think or, it was definitely the Museum of Roller yeah. Skating. Modern, modern Roller yeah, Skating. Yeah, Modern Roller Skating. That's what it was. Inline Skating. <laughs> inline yeah, skating. that's what it was. Because Raven was wearing the inlines. Yeah, I think yeah. you're right. It is inline yeah, skating. Yeah, yeah, uh, so they Exhibit A was break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they took it to the uh, Museum of Roller Skating <laughs> and uh, had a nice little dinner where uh, they started to get into some of the real nitty gritty about <laughs> past relationships yep. like uh, how Raven will kill you if you cheat on her. <laughs> I mean, well, first she'll kick in the door. Yeah. I mean, but all power to her. Because I she presented it with this sort of like shamelessness that I mm -hmm. thought was really, I don't know, it, I bought it. Like, yeah. I think normally yeah, yeah, yeah. if you talk about taking a stiletto to someone's face, <laughs> I'm usually a little bit put off. Yeah. But in this case, I found myself cheering for her. Yeah, dude. No, I agree. And it was apparent that uh, at this date, they really started to 
develop a connection between yeah. the two of them. Yeah. Um, and it looks like Raven's probably going to be sticking around for a little while. Yeah, I think this was her like Carrie Underwood moment. Because she <laughs> broke out talking about taking a key across the dude's car, yeah. Yeah. bashing his windshield in with a bat. I think this was her moment where people are like loving her and they can't exactly justify it. Yeah, absolutely. I do have to say though, I mean, for being a boutique owner, Jesus Christ, what was going on with that dress? Did she just grab that off her clearance well, rack? an equally egregious offense, I think, was Nick's hood oh, underneath the blazer. Dude. They both just brought their F game dude, tonight. Dude, you cannot do that. Yeah, that, that has been on the fashion sins list forever. Ooh, conspiracy theory. Huh. And this will be something we dig into in the later weeks. Yeah. Was get was Ben the guest stylist for this week's episode? Because <laughs> Ben was a pretty egregious offender of the yeah, hoods and blazer as he well. He was that dude. That's a really good question. I don't know if you got any insight info. Once again, let us we, know in the email. Answers. That pretty much wraps us up for uh, week number four. I mean, end of the episode, they're teasing a uh, Corinne versus Taylor, you know, battle to the death, yeah. uh, which yeah. is looks like it's going to culminate in maybe a two on one date next week yeah yeah so know. it looks like that stick of dynamite is not going to light until next week so yeah. we'll cover that more yeah. next week yeah but. for sure for sure but of course it would not be a <laughs> two bros and some brick recap without a two bros and some brick stat of the night that's right now we're gonna get a little bit more creative this time because yes. you know what cards on the table we spent a lot of time on Chris Lane's <laughs> social media. Now, for those of you who forgot, he was the person who sang to oh, Danielle God. and Nick at the end of their first date. Oh, And geez. he is as advertised. You cannot get more cheesy than oh, this man. motherfucker. Dude. So, <laughs> I just guy. can't imagine he was their first choice. No. To sing to Danielle and no Nick. No way. Absolutely not. So, we're going to go a more predictive route. Yeah. How many country stars do you think said no before they got to Chris Lane, <laughs> the most available person on planet Earth, said oh, yes. Dude, I think they went through at least, at least, like, I don't know, six of them? I mean, <laughs> okay. they probably really went through the whole list and then said, all right, I guess we got Chris Lane. You're being a little bit more generous than I am. I'm going to say 17. <laughs> I really can't imagine that Chris Lane was on the tip of anybody's tongue. Yeah. I don't care. How much money you wanted to save. And this guy is just... This is a guy who tweeted out on election day that no matter who wins, Jesus is still the king. <laughs> this is a guy who tweeted out a meme of a baby falling down and the tag just saying that little kids are basically just drunk adults. Him crying <laughs> laughing for a whole space on a tweet and saying, so true. Also a dude that's open for uh, Florida Georgia line, as we learned. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which is, I mean, I don't know. Can you think of two worst dudes to align yourself <laughs> and, with? And the worst guy. As ever and uses his Snapchat to lip sync his own song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you Ugh. want, if you want to laugh after you're done with this video, go look up Chris Lane's Instagram account. But make sure you have an hour man. to kill because yeah. you're gonna be at, le <laughs> at least an hour. Yeah, you'll be doing a deep dive. That's for sure. Ugh. Anyways, we got to get this episode over with we, so we can go back. We got to wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, because we want to go back onto Chris Lane's <laughs> IG and keep digging. So uh, if you have not already, please consider subscribing. All you gotta do is hit that little sub button down below. As a matter of fact, uh, just smash. It on up, right? We want it. We want a couple more subs. And you know what? We're getting really good at engaging with people who uh, decide to yeah. participate with us on the comment board. So that's right. If you feel like participating, we're gonna start a conversation with you. So yeah, get please, ready. Please drop us a comment. Uh, if you don't want to drop us a comment on here, feel free to drop us a comment on Instagram or Twitter. Oh, uh, please, links yes. are somewhere around here, I believe. It's um, just at Two Bros Brick. Pretty yeah, easy. yeah, at Two Bros Brick. So thank you again for watching, as always, and until next week. We will see y'all soon. Adios, everyone. Bye-bye.